In this video, we're going to complete example one. Now, I need to point out that there are two videos that go over example one. This one is for those who have a sharp calculator. I have another video for those who have a Casio calculator. It says the table and scatter plot below represent a sample of 15 people. Each person had their height and arm span measured and recorded. So here we have it in our table. Question A says use a calculator to find Pearson's correlation coefficient correct to two decimal places. So in this particular video, we're going to use a sharp calculator. And before we get started, we need to reset the calculator. To do that, we're going to go second function alpha, reset is number one, and then we're going to press equals. The reason we need to do that is whenever you put statistics into a calculator, you need to reset it in case other statistics have already been put in there. So we're going to get into statistics mode. So we're going to click on mode. Statistics mode is number one. When we calculate the standard deviation, we type the number zero. When we're calculating the correlation coefficient, we need to click the number one. Now we need to enter the values. You'll notice that each time we've got to enter two values. So if we've got 152 for our height, our arm span is 153. So we're going to type 152, then the STO button which gives us a comma, and then the number 153. We now press M+. You will notice it says data set equals 1, and that's because we've only entered one set of values from this particular column. If we move on to the next column where we have 180 and 184, we can enter these data values. 180, STO button, 184 and then M plus. You will notice that after you have entered the second set of data values that your calculator will say data set equals 2. When we look at our table of values here you will notice that we have 15 sets of data values. If you do this correctly it should say on your calculator data set equals 15. I'm going to pause entering all the values, I want you to do the same and we should all have a calculator that says 15 here. All right, now I've finished putting in 15 sets of data values. My calculator says data set equals 15, so that implies that I've done it correctly. If you do make a mistake, it's really annoying. You have to reset and start again. This is one of the advantages of the Casio calculator where you don't have to reset. Alright, let's complete question A. Use a calculator to find Pearson's correlation coefficient correct to two decimal places. And what we're looking for is the letter R. And we can see it here. And we mentioned earlier that R is a representation of the correlation coefficient. It's above the division symbol. So we're going to go alpha, divide, and click equals. And here we have our correlation coefficient. Now, Correct to two decimal places, this will be 0 0.97. 0 0.97. And to be more specific, it's a, a positive number. If it wasn't, it would have had a negative at the beginning of it. What does that mean? What does positive 0 0.97 mean? Well, if we go back to our number line here, positive 0 0.97 is very, very close to positive 1 meaning it's very, very close to being perfect, not quite perfect, but it's definitely a very strong relationship here. All right, so if we look at question B, it says, what is the strength of the relationship? We can say that it's strong, but I want to emphasize this even more. I want to say that it's very strong. If we look at our scatter plot here, if I was to roughly sketch a line of best fit, you can see that all the points are quite close to this line, some of them even lying on that line. We can see that this is a strong relationship and we can also see that it is positive as well. Anyway, that concludes our video on example one using the sharp calculator. 
Remember to read the description below for links to work booklets that relate to this video.